My name is Jeanne Montastruc, and I'm a medical doctor specialist in pediatric rehabilitation medicine. Hello, my name is François Montastruc, a medical doctor specialist in clinical pharmacology. Our paper published in the March 2017 issue of Demental Medicine and Child Neurology is a study of adverse drug reaction of botulinum neurotoxin type A in children with cerebral palsy using VGBA, the World Health Organization Global Individual Case Safety Report database. Injection of botulinum neurotoxin type A are used as a drug option in spasticity in children with cerebral palsy. Botulinum neurotoxin A blocks acetylcholine released from the presynaptic terminals of the neuromuscular junction, thus reducing muscle contractions. In 2005, a study in the US FDA database described 28 deaths after injection of botulinum neurotoxin type A. In children, in 2008, a safety signal occurred after a case report of deterioration in respiratory and oromotor functions in a boy with severe cerebral palsy after injection of botulinum neurotoxin type A. Thus, FDA required manufacturers to label botulinum toxin drugs with black box warning about possible risk of botulism-like symptoms. If this alert allowed a better approach to the botulinum toxin risk benefits balance, we need to better characterize adverse drug reaction, particularly in potentially vulnerable populations like children with cerebral palsy. Thus, the aim of our study was to assess the risk of botulinum neurotoxin type A in children with cerebral palsy and to compare adverse drug reaction between children and adults in VGBAS. All adverse drug reaction of botulinum toxin type A in children with cerebral palsy reported between the 1st January 1995 and August 2015 in VGBAS were included. VGBAS contained more than 14 million of individual case safety reports from more than 120 countries. The likelihood that the drug has caused the reported effect varies from case to case. All adverse drug reactions were reviewed by Dr. Jeanne Montastruc and me using the MEDRA dictionary preferential terms. We use the case-non-case -case method, a disproportionality analysis, to access the link between exposure to botulinum neurotoxin type A and each adverse drug reaction of interest, and to compare this is adverse drug reaction between children and adults. The case-non-case -case method aims to identify and quantify a safety signal. It is a measure of the extent to which combinations of drug and clinical events are disproportionately present in the database of reported adverse drug reactions, comparing reported cases with expected cases. The method allows calculation of an adverse drug reaction reporting odds ratio and its confidence interval. We extracted 387 modifications of botulinum neurotoxin type A in children and among them. 162 were indicated in spasticity or cerebral palsy. Reports came from 19 different countries, mainly from North America. The number of reports increased after the black box warning in 2008. In children, 67 reports involved girls, mean age was 7, and 109 reports were serious. The most frequent adverse drug reaction was dysphagia in 17% of cases, followed by asthenia and muscular weakness in 16%. Botulinum toxin type A in children was associated with death in 19 reports. In the case-non-case -case analysis, we found a significant association for asthenia, dysphagia, pneumonia, muscular weakness, botulism in children. 
and for dysphagia, muscular weakness, and botulism in adults. Concerning death, disproportionality analysis was significant for children but not for adults. In children with cerebral palsy, most reports were serious adverse drug reactions as dysphagia, muscular weakness, pneumonia, botulism and death. Most deaths were linked to respiratory disorders associated or not with dysphagia. From a pharmacological point of view, the mechanism of this adverse drug reaction could be related to the systemic spread of toxin. Another explanation of this fatal adverse drug reaction could be explained by the association of other drugs used for sedation as benzodiazepine or propofol. Adverse drug reactions were quite similar between adults and children with cerebral palsy, but proportionally there were more deaths in children than in adults. In conclusion, we could say that risk-benefit balance of botulinum toxin type A should be well evaluated in uh, vulnerable populations like children with cerebral palsy. Our study emphasized that around two-thirds of the reported adverse drug reactions in VGBase are serious. Finally, from clinical point of view, injection and evaluation in children should be reserved to trained physicians.